imagine yourself out after a long day being at work, school, or at the gym. What's the first thing you're gonna want to do when you get home? Get in bed, right? But what you do before that is going to most likely take a nice, relaxing hot shower. What most people don't know is that cold showers are actually a lot better for you than to get hot showers because of the positive health effects they have on the human body. Today I'm going to explain those effects on the human body. Some of those examples are increased alertness, better hair and skin quality, muscle recovery, weight loss, and better psychological improvement. According to medicaldaily.com, the first benefit of getting cold showers is increased alertness. What happens here is that cold water will shock the human body, which causes people to pretty much hyperventilate, and that will increase the heart rate of people. So that increases circulation and blood flows through the body, and that rush of blood actually causes a natural dose of energy for you to fill the day. Being alert is only one effect of cold showers. Another benefit of cold showers is that it improves your skin and your hair quality. Hot water is known to dry out your skin and cold water trying to keep it pores which prevents your pores from getting clogged with excess dirt or oil. Dermatologist Jessica Cramp states that cold water prevents skin from losing its natural healthy oils which keeps it from getting dry too quickly. So cold water will give your skin a natural healthy glow. She also states that cold water will help make care of your shinier, stronger, and healthier. It does this because it strengthens the hair follicles which increases their ability to grip the scalp. Next, I will cover the topic of muscle recovery. Cold showers are known to help people recover from intense exercise. According to how stuff works, when people participate in intense exercise, lactic acid builds up in the muscles, and we will say that they're filling the brain, it's actually the acid building up. This happens when oxygen is deprived in the muscles. I mean, when muscles are deprived of oxygen, and its natural energy resources, resources are used up. Intense exercise will also cause small tears in muscle fibers, and a cold shower will help increase blood circulation, which helps reduce, which helps move out lactic acid. It also constricts blood vessels, which equals less tissue damage and less swelling. So this is known. This is why athletes are known to take cold showers after games. Next, I will explain how cold showers are good for stimulating weight loss. According to MedicalDaily.com, it states that there are two types of fat: brown fat and white fat. White fat builds up around the waist, thighs, neck, and lower back. It's building up because the body takes in more calories than burns off. Brown fat, on the other hand, is usually found around the collarbones, and it is good fat which generates heat to help burn calories. Now, what activates brown fat is when the body is exposed to extreme cold temperatures, such as cold showers. Black fat that works is that cold water activates the brown fat which burns calories and increases its metabolic rate by 15 times, so this will help burn off fat. It is said that it can help burn off at least 9 pounds of regular white fat per year. Last, I will explain the psychological improvement of cold showers. The initial shock of cold water will cause an adrenaline rush. Adrenaline is the fight or flight chemical which is released when the body is under extremely stressful situations. When cold water hits the skin, electrical impulses are sent from nerve endings straight to the brain, and this creates an antidepressive effect, which creates a positive mood and a general feeling of well-being. Another benefit of cold showers is an increased amount of mental strength. It takes a lot of willpower to put yourself in a kind of situation like this, where you're standing in freezing cold temperatures without wanting to get out right away. If people subject themselves to struggles like this, you can help them adapt to adapt to future stresses more easily, and this toughens them up more mentally. This can help increase confidence. 
In conclusion, I have explained why cold showers are beneficial for increased alertness, better hair and skin quality, muscle recovery, increased rate of weight loss, and increased psychological improvement. All right, Danny, the visualization at the beginning is pretty effective, although uh, later on when you're talking about it being, you know, uh, a stimulant and uh, alertness, if I'm trying to go to bed, I, it seems like that would be the opposite direction of what I would want. So it seems a little inconsistent with what you're talking about later in the speech. I thought you had a very clear statement of what the goal of the speech was. Uh, the preview was good, although you got a little stuck in the preview a couple of spots, so you're pacing all went, uh, it, it, it just, it didn't go quite as smoothly as it should have. So content-wise, it was fine. The presentation, I think you needed a little bit more rehearsal on that, especially in the beginning. Uh, the content issues, I thought, were nicely developed. You had uh, information that you cited in the presentation. Uh, it's uh, pretty easily organized. It's straightforward topical organization. It's easy to follow, so there's nothing wrong there. I think that uh, you need to have a little bit more energy in the presentation and a lot of that could be done both by some content issues and by some delivery issues. Content issues, uh, look, you're talking about people taking a cold shower. There's all kinds of opportunities for a little bit of humor, uh, some examples, uh, some visualizations to go on there that will make it a little bit more intriguing and I think that uh, you need to take advantage of that. Uh, when you're delivering it, you deliver a competent presentation, but a not a very energetic presentation, and not one that's as engaging as you want it to be, especially with a topic like this. I think that you're missing some opportunities there. I, I didn't notice a lot of things that are problematic. Maybe your facial expressions, you're a little bit passive. I think you need to be a little bit more active there. Your eye contact, I think you do look at the audience. Sometimes I felt a little bit not so much that I was being scanned, but uh, like the eye contact was, you know, quick and that you're, you're zipping back and forth a little bit. And I, I, I think there's some anxiety coming out there and you need to pace your eye contact a lot more. But you are looking at people, which I appreciated. And I thought the visuals were integrated nicely into the speech. You're reading too much and you know that. You should probably get those cards out of your hands so that it doesn't feel so quite as awkward. Uh, You've got a low-key kind of voice. I think your energy level needs to come up a little bit also. So same sort of thing that I was talking about with the facial expressions and even with the content issues. Uh, I think you've got an interesting topic here. You've got the good research on it. It's well organized and that you're not getting as much out of it because you... I don't, like I said, I don't want people to feel like they have to become somebody different to give their speech. But you do need to feel like you are giving a speech. And uh, you know, uh, sometimes that means that you have to feed on the energy of the audience. You have to kind of force yourself to perk up a little bit. And, and you're just, you're a low-key kind of guy. And I think that it comes across low-key. And, and that undermines what you're selling us. 
So uh, that that's a little bit of a problem. Everything else was, like I said, pretty solid. Thank you.